For a long time, it was thought that dinosaurs were an extinction just waiting to happen. The first imaginings of paleontologists and the general public about dinosaurs, we thought of them as reptiles. But reptile, as a word, comes with a lot of other connotations, like cold-blooded, slow-moving, sprawling, scaly skin, um, kind of stupid. Had they survived the extinction event, the consensus has always been that being cold-blooded reptiles and so unable to cope with cold temperatures, the ice ages would have wiped the dinosaurs out. The last ice age occurred two million years ago and covered half of the planet's northern hemisphere. Such a catastrophic change in climate would have decimated a cold-blooded dinosaur population. But recent analysis suggests that dinosaurs weren't typical reptiles at all. They sort of look like reptiles. They do have scaly skin, at least many dinosaurs do. But they have the large body sizes and the fast growth rates that we ascribe to modern mammals and birds, which are warm-blooded. Dinosaurs walked with their legs directly underneath their bodies, just like modern warm-blooded animals do, just like mammals do and just like birds do. We're not sprawled animals like reptiles. So the gamut of evidence that we have for dinosaurs doing something more like a warm-blooded animal and less like a cold-blooded animal is pretty significant. Warm-blooded animals are much more adaptable to extreme climate change. But dinosaurs be warm-blooded? To prove such a radical notion, Curry Rogers would need something more conclusive. For years, paleontologists have been looking at the outsides of dinosaurs. On the outsides, we can understand how dinosaurs evolved and how their anatomy changed over time. But deep inside the bones, we can actually trace dinosaur life. By analyzing thin cross sections of fossilized dinosaur bone, Curry Rogers is helping to rewrite what we know of dinosaurs from the inside out. I think let's go with this one and the smaller one. Those two look good. OK. One of the things that we see when we crack open dinosaur bones is a story of a very fast growth rate throughout life history. We see that dinosaurs were growing very, very quickly on par with modern mammals and birds, not like reptiles at all. This is a great example from a young apatosaurus, a young, large sauropod dinosaur. Um, all of these white spaces that we see here are places where blood vessels used to flow through this bone when the animal was still alive. And this is completely different than the bone that we might see of a reptile, like a crocodile or a turtle. Instead, this is a lot more similar to those bones of mammals and birds. What she's discovered is that the inner workings of late Cretaceous dinosaurs reinforce the notion of at least some of them being warm-blooded. Dinosaurs, just like other modern animals, probably were fairly well adapted for whatever thermoregulatory strategy. I think that they were perfectly well adapted to deal with the problems of, of maintaining a body temperature. If some dinosaurs were warm-blooded, they would have been well-placed to roll with anything the evolving planet had to throw at them, including an ice age. <laughs> 